What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to go over everything you need to know in regards to the Season 3 Warzone update. This update is a lot bigger than you expect and it's just completely massive. Everything I cover here is in regards to Warzone and the video might still be like over 10 minutes long. But anyways, let me save you some time and let's jump into it. So we have four brand new modes. The very first one is called Warzone Bootcamp. This will be available on Yurzik stand. This mode is pretty much for people who are new to Warzone trying to learn how to play. It's going to be set with the majority of them being bots so 44 players total there's going to be 24 bots and 20 actual players you won't be able to use this as an xp farm it's just a way for new players to learn and understand the game and it's going to be set on years extent xp will be limited you won't be able to do any camo challenges or any sort of challenges that will unlock you rewards mainly for the reason that they don't want this to be a farm the next mode that we have is going to be rebirth resurgence this will also be available at launch it's a pretty obvious mode it's pretty much resurgence just on rebirth island because that'll be the new map that we have this season the following following one that we have is going to be called Rebirth Resurgence Loaded. This will be coming in the mid-season update. The only difference is that it'll play just like Resurgence, but you will spawn in with your regular loadout. So you get to pick and choose what loadout you want. Every time you die, you will come back with your loadout. So you don't have to worry about getting loadout drops or pretty much looting around the map. The final brand new mode for Warzone is going to be Rebirth Lockdown, which will be available during the mid-season update. Plays exactly like Vondo Lockdown. You got to capture some sort of an objective and it's just going to be on Rebirth Island. And that's going to have a player count of 28 players. The next set of content are going to be the public events. We have a total of three of them being introduced. The first one is going to be called the Rebirth Infill Strikes. This will come in the mid-season update. And what will happen is at the start of a match, this won't happen every match, it's just completely random. I'm guessing it happens like maybe 20 to 30% of the time. But right when you queue into a match while you are flying in, if it does happen, there will be a little animation sequence, very similar to how it is on Vondo. When you're on the airplane, you'll see that little strike that will hit down and destroy Mark it and then drop all that loot it'll be the same way here and it's gonna happen to three different possible locations the first one will be lighthouse the left side is what it looks like before the right side will be what it looks like after the strike happens the second location will be prison left side once again before the right side after the whole point that they're doing this is to try and get different rotations going on and try to mix it up so that way it feels like a different experience every match and the third location we have will be the water tower left side is normal the right side is after it's been destroyed and these are the only three locations that could possibly get hit with these infill streaks the next public event that we have is called the climb and punishment this will be available in years extend and it'll be available at launch and what happens is when you are in the gulag it'll give you a notification saying new public event climb and punishment two ladders will spawn in one for you and one for the enemy and if you talk to them you both can climb up the ladder at the same time and you will both be able to spawn in so it's sort of like just talking to them and negotiating and mind tricks and all that and then the next public event that we have this one is called called Heavy Armor, which will also be available in the mid-season update, and this is meant for all resurgence modes. When this public event takes place, it usually happens while you are infilling, so in the plane, and then once you jump off, you're going to get an extra plate, and that means it'll take your health from 150 to 200. It will stay like that for the remainder of the game, so you'll be able to put on an additional plate that you wouldn't normally be able to for the entirety of the match. It's definitely going to mess with the meta a little bit because you're going to need to use more ammo, and the TTK is going to be a lot higher, and even when you down players and thirst them, they're going to have that extra play so it's going to take a little bit longer to fully finish a player the next things that we have are going to be the brand new contracts that they're going to be adding a quick reminder if you're finding the video helpful or informative don't forget to hit that subscribe button the majority of viewers are not yet sub so definitely hit that sub button so you don't miss out on any of these news or updates but the next thing we have is going to be called spy drones this will be available at launch and to explain it it says you and your squad are to locate drones which appear to be gathering data at a specific destination head to that rendezvous point and immediately destroy them expect a Additional rewards for neutralizing the swarm of drones in rapid succession. Ensure you inspect the vicinity because they drop armor plates, redeploy drones, and possibly an advanced UAV. Just a disclaimer, even if you activate the contract and you do it, other players can actually steal your loot if you end up shooting them and not getting to the loot in time. The next one is the new mission contract called the Resurgence Champions Quest. For the very first time, you'll be able to complete the champion quest in Resurgence, and this will be available on Rebirth Island. You'll need to get that five wins in a row, or I believe 30 wins total, in order to activate the contract and it says the ultimate contract mission is confirmed to be active on rebirth island once a certain number of consecutive wins 
or a total number of wins are achieved. Very similar to the other contracts, you'll need to use three different elements and by completing and activating the nuke, you'll be able to get things like an animated calling card, a charm, a sticker, a weapon, camel, and an operator skin. And they only show us the camel and the operator skin and this is what they look like compared to like the crazy, you know, animated ones that we've seen already. This operator skin isn't the craziest looking. The camel doesn't look all too good, but it is because it's resurgence and it's a little bit easier to do than battle royale. Now we jump into the new equipment that's going to be available. The first one is a new field upgrade called Squad Ridge, which will be available at launch. This photo is a diagram that pretty much shows how it's going to work out. You're going to need to find this new field upgrade either by buying it at a buy station or looting it. Say, for example, the green player ends up using it. Anyone in the vicinity of that circle also ends up getting access to it. And what it does, it will vaporize the gas within the radius of effect surrounding the user. And it also grants battle rage to both you and any teammates that stand within that radius. And on top of that, you get the battle rage effects, which is infinite tactical sprint, increased health and regeneration for the duration of the rage. The next new set of equipment is called the utility box. This will come in the mid-season update and this is basically a armor plate as well as a munitions box and a resupply put all into one. So if you don't want to sit there and carry an armor box and then carry a munitions, you only need to carry this. It'll drop you armor plates, lethals, tacticals, and ammo. And then they showcase the photo of what that looks like. The next new equipment that we have is going to be a kill streak. This is called Foresight. It will be available for you to get at buy stations, but once you call it in, it lets you know exactly where the next circle are gonna close. This is a returning feature we saw in Warzone 1, but it's pretty obvious. The next thing we have are gonna be specialist perks that are gonna come in the mid-season update, and these pretty much give you access to every single perk available in the game. They don't show you how you're gonna be able to get it, but it's gonna be very rare and very hard to find probably going to need to complete some sort of a secret Easter egg. They mention a whole lot of redacted, which they say very rarely spawn at redacted or in a specific redacted. So they don't really give you much information, but just know every single perk available in the game is going to be a part of this. And even if you put on your loadout, you still get to keep the specialist perk. So it just doesn't go away. The next topic of new content is going to be all the brand new features. The first one is going to be called the biometric scanner. This is going to be available at launch for rebirth Island. There's going to be 10 different spawns for these biometric scanners scanners that you can go to. Once per match, you can go to one of these locations and do a scan. What this does is it'll contain your operator name, your clan tag, and your access level. You'll get a little bit of XP from that, but on top of that, the most important thing is it drops you a key card. Every key card that drops has a specific rarity, and they start off as bronze, which is the most common, then it's silver, then it's gold, then it's platinum, polyatomic and orion which is the rarest they said if you have squad mates who are nearby and next to you when you do the scanner it raises your chances of getting something better rarity once you get that key card you can take it over to any buy station and it actually gives you rewards if you're bronze you can get a little bit of cash armor plates lethals tactical silver gives you random ammunition cash armor plates lethals tacticals and a perk package Gold gives you ammunition, even more cash, more armor plates, lethals, tacticals, a perk package, plate carrier, and a field upgrade. Platinum will give you random ammunition, a lot of cash, armor plates, lethals, tacticals, perk package, plate carrier, field upgrade, kill streaks. Polyatomic gives you redacted free equipment selects at the buy station and a redacted weapon. Orion gives you a redacted free equipment selects at the buy station, redacted weapons, and additional redacted and they've mentioned by doing these you can also get yourself permanent in-game rewards which means things like a camo for your weapons as well as a most secret item which can either be an operator skin or a weapon blueprint we'll have more information when season three rolls around the next thing that we have is going to be a variable time of day that's going to be a new feature which occasionally the match could be sunny it could end up being foggy or the sun could be setting and these are the three different photos that they provide of that and that could just happen randomly across matches the next new feature that we have is called smart displays. This will be available at launch. And what this does is there will be, will be a number of large monitors that appear over on Rebirth Island. And what they do is they can either give you some sort of like propaganda, random events. They also can give you weather forecasts, things like heat zones where there's a bunch of players, say a bunch of players are fighting in prison. It'll let you know there's a lot of players over there. So you can head over there if you want to fight that. It'll also let you know if there is a operator who has more than 10, 15 or 20 kills and they'll mark them on the map for you. As as well as even if you do a biometric scan, you can end up getting marked here on this display, but it just gives you random announcements and new things like that. Not the craziest feature. The next one that we have is called Squad Assemble and Squad Play Bonus. This will also be available at launch. And what Call of Duty is trying to do is they're trying to reward you for landing together with your teammates. So here's what they said. If you and your squad end up landing together, you can get rewards for that. So if you mark a destination, each squad member receives XP. If any team member pings a location where you land before the first squad member touches the ground, then you have 
that full squad landing, if all your squads in quads or trios land together as a full squad, you get a sizable amount of XP and a cash bonus as well as a supply UAV. And if the majority of your squad land together, so one person decides to be different and not land with you guys, you'll be able to get a reasonable amount of XP and cash as well as a supply UAV. And then if you get only half the squad or duo to land, then you're only going to be able to get a little bit of XP and a little bit of cash. So they're just rewarding you for landing together. The next new feature we have is going to be the weapon trade station. This was available in OG Warzone 1, but this is what the weapon trade station is going to look like. You have the opportunity to go over there and give up one of your weapons that you don't want. And it'll give you a weapon that's two rarities lower. If you give it a weapon that has epic rarity and that's four attachments, it'll end up giving you something that's normal rarity and that has only two attachments. But additional things you get from that is it'll give you cash, ammo equipment tacticals lethals upgrades kill streaks gas masks and sometimes if you're very lucky you could trade in a good weapon and actually get a specialist perk token which then you'll be able to cash in and get a specialist perk next new feature is called unsubstantiated intel which will be available at launch for rebirth island they don't give us much information they just say that there's a lot of secrets and a whole bunch of redacted with multi-step processes so a whole lot of easter eggs going on and i guess this is what they're calling it unsubstantiated intel the last new feature available in warzone is called the bunker entrances this will be available in mid-season for years extent and this is going to be bunker number five will open up i mentioned that they recommend that you explore that and the area doesn't have any threats but it's definitely worth exploring so there might be some vehicles there might be something worth getting there maybe good loot not entirely sure they don't give too much information the last and final thing we have is going to be ranked play so with ranked play it's going to be coming out in a new way this time around it's actually going to be set on rebirth island meaning that fortunes keep will no longer have ranked play it's going to stay on resurgence so not battle royale just yet and then they mentioned that this will have a new set of rewards you're going to be able to drop in and try to go up for 250 it's going to play the same exact way same rule set just on rebirth island and you'll be able to get yourself some challenge rewards and things like that but this is pretty much everything that you need to know in regards to warzone i'm sorry i made the video so long i tried to go in as fast as possible there's just so much content to go over anyways what are your thoughts and opinions are you excited for the season 3 update look forward to a zombies version of this video where we go over all the new content for zombies next and if there's anything else you guys want to see definitely let me know in the comment section but it's been your boy Chito. hopefully i'll be seeing you guys again peace